Okay, here we have an old Dell computer with a bad LCD. Go ahead and turn it on. Um, you can see here, we've got all kinds of lines and everything right here, so definitely the LCD is bad. You know, these are so simple to do. I've been doing these repairs for years and years and years, and there's no sense in you going out to Best Buy or Geek Squad or whatever and paying somebody to replace a simple LCD like this. So what we're going to do is, most all of these Windows machines um, have just these bezels around them. Now what I like to do is simply grab down here, grab on the side, and just start to pull it back. And this thing will pop off because it's just pressed in. Now sometimes there's screws down in this area and down in this area. So you got to watch for that. If yours has, has a, a little circle, then you want to make sure there's not a screw underneath there. And take that screw out before you pull this off. So there we go. Got the bezel off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine off. And on this old model, we've got screws on the side here. We got one, two, three, sometimes there's four. We just take these screws out. Okay, on both sides. Now after you find, after you get this out of here, as you're going to see, I'm going to show you how to get the screens really cheap. Take all these screws out, bottom, middle. Like I say, this is an older laptop, so it has a little different cable plug on it. It's also, as you can see here, now that we've got it loose, it's a thick, it's a thicker screen. But that's okay, no big deal. So now we lay it down flat and as you can see we've got a connector right here. Now on this connector what you want to do on this you need to press in these little clips and pull it back. Okay and then on this particular unit it also has the power cable right here and notice the pink cable is up. So we just want to go ahead and pull this out. Get my hands out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, just pull it out. Now the LCD is loose. So we'll go back here. And what you want to do is, you don't want to use the model of the laptop necessarily to get the model of this LCD. You want to actually get that model right there, starting with a B. It says model number B154EW08, and then there's a V.0, which is version. If you can get the exact same version, that's better. So just go to eBay, type in that number. You don't have to put in Dell or anything else. Just type in this number starting with B, and then space V.0, and you'll see a lot of different people selling screens. So on no matter what kind of computer you have, you always want to get the model number of the LCD on that sticker on the back. Now here is a little newer laptop. And this one, as you'll notice, it has a much thinner profile. This is a newer laptop. It's an i5 processor. But it's basically the same thing. You've got, you just want to pull in here to pull this bezel off. This one also does not have screws down here. So we're lucky on that one. I don't have to mess with it. And you want to be kind of gentle pulling it out because you could, you know, crack the bezel or something. You'd have to use super glue to put it back together. But so there it is. Pull it out. Okay, just had a major snap. But there it is. This bezel. 
it's what you have. Now on this one you'll notice the LCD on this is very very thin and this is a newer what you're gonna find in newer computers this one very simply it has four screws that hold it in I'll show you real quick one down there one up here one down here just four screws on this one most of these newer ones are just four screws like this there we go and then pull it out now on these newer computers they only have one connector right here and usually there's a piece of tape holding the connector down you just peel up the piece of tape okay and then very gently pull back on the connector and that's it and then I, again on here this part number right here starts with an N and that would be the model number for this screen okay so let's get back to putting in the new screen on this older computer now as you recall on the old one we have that connector right here this uh, little plug and if you remember I said the pink cable now it could be different on yours but so when you're taking your screen out you want to make sure because it's just easier to get it in if you put it in the right way if you try to put it in the wrong way it won't go so I'm gonna put this power cable this is off the inverter which they used to have in the old days just push it in then we want to connect our cable back here on the LCD then before I get all excited and think oh I'm done I like to turn it on and make sure the thing is working sometimes you can get a screen that's broken okay it's working it's a good screen all right perfect so all we'll do now is put the screws put the three screws on this side three screws on the other side and then this very simply just pushes back on it snaps into place all right simple guys you don't need to go spending a fortune to replace your LCD on your laptop all right there we go snapped into place after we put our screws in and we're ready to go so if you have any questions at all please comment below I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have on your particular unit and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please like, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.